Good morning, folks. Today we're going to look at sunspots, filament activity, magnetic sense in dogs, and an atmospheric shift we've been discussing for a while showing up in the data. But we are starting with the sun and the last 24 hours on our star. It was yet another quiet day. Since the solar storm last week, it has been extremely quiet with no further flaring of significance. One M-class event yesterday was way over at the limb. A couple filaments lifted, but not in an earth-facing position. Quiet is expected to remain as we begin another week here, but we can never know if that will apply to the filaments too. Several of them on the disk at the moment, and one of them, you'll see at bottom right side, destabilized and arced upward, creating a fairly massive cascade of plasma that covers over 100,000 miles from end to end. Here's a zoom of that with the Earth scale so you can see the size of the activity in context. Remember, there is no flare that precedes a filament eruption. Got to catch them in the act. Sunspot situation is much as it was yesterday. We do have some sunspots, but the more active ones are either departing the Earth-facing side or have already departed. A couple small ones in coming from the left. Let's go to the first article today, which is about dogs and magnetic alignment, their magnetosensory activity. Turns out that the younger the dog and the more isolated from its owner, the more likely it is to act in accordance with Earth's magnetic field direction. Both age and the focus on their person appeared to reduce those correlations, confirming the mammalian magnetic sense once again while correcting for some mitigating factors. Great article up next on atmospheric rivers, the super flood makers, and how they appear to be shifting towards the poles. This was predicted to occur with the magnetic pole shift, but also with warmer water. The problem is that they note a cooling in the Pacific waters during the time of this poleward shift, making them question how it's actually happening. This team obviously is not one of the ones on the magnetic excursion train, even though they are confirming one of the key predictions of the atmospheric shift during such an event. Two quick administrative notes. First, we would love to see you out at Observer Ranch for one of our upcoming events or just for fun some other day. The next day I'll be out there is tomorrow, Tuesday, and we would love to shake your hand and chat all things in Observer World. ObserverRanch.com Also, folks, tomorrow the next edition of our e-magazine comes out. It's the best way to stay up to date each month on everything happening relating to the topics we cover regularly. And when you sign up today, you will also get our special release from two weeks ago, the Q&A video. Each month there is a new e-magazine issue and a special release. Link to join the Observer Review is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 45 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone